Getting Wirecast Play to work with YouTube is very easy. Once you go to the Wirecast website and download the Wirecast Play um, software, uh, it'll download to your computer. You go ahead, open up the DMG file on a Mac. You agree. It'll open up the software. Once the software opens up, drag and drop it into your Applications folder. It'll take a moment to move it over. Once installed, you can navigate and open up the Wirecaster software. Wirecast Play can be used for free. Um, there will be a small watermark on it, and this gives you the opportunity to purchase to remove the watermark, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and run a tutorial if you'd like, or you can go straight to continue. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. When it comes to streaming, you click the stream button. It will ask you to authenticate to YouTube, so you'll sign in to YouTube. When you sign in, it'll ask you who you want to authenticate as. You'll select the party that you want to authenticate as. You'll click allow. It'll fetch all of the information and it'll automatically set up for live streaming. You can go up here, you can configure the different uh, sizes. So we're going to go ahead and configure it to 720p. Um, Click OK and you're pretty much good to go. Once you've set that up, Wirecast Play automatically detects the different inputs that you have. You can add additional inputs. So if you want to add a video, um, you know, basically a video that you could run straight up, you can go in, you can add that video. Let me pick one here to show you exactly what, I, what I'm talking about. So you can select this, and then that's available to stream. You can go back to the blank shot. You can select an image if you want it to be um, an actual image. So you just select, um, let's do here, photos. Select photo booth. And that's a funny picture. And so then you've got a photo that you can place up there. Um, you can go to the live camera. And it'll show you the live camera. You can see that the audio is coming through. So I'm going to turn that off. And then when you're ready to go live, you click the stream button and it will actually begin streaming to YouTube. You can also record directly to your computer by clicking the record button and it will record as well. Whatever you put up on the screen is what's going to be streamed to YouTube. And that's pretty much it. You click the record button when you're done recording. You click the stream button when you're done streaming. And that's pretty much how it goes. Once you set up YouTube, the default stream that it brings in is the generic live stream, the one where you can go live at any point in time. However, you can set up events, and events may have already been set up in YouTube. And if you want to select that particular event to go live to, you would just go up to Output. You'd select Output Settings. You would go to, um, if, if it's already authenticated, you would go to the event. You would select the one that you want. Click test today's event, click OK, and now whenever you go live, this event is going to actually um, publish wherever that page is. So you've created the, so think of a new YouTube event as a totally new video with a totally new YouTube page. If you've embedded it somewhere, totally unique embed code. And then when you click stream, it automatically starts streaming. So if you look at that particular page now, so let me bring up a, a screen here. If you look at that particular page um, until like when it's not live, you'll see that there's a countdown to when that event does go live. And if you've got a different event such as I have here, you'll see that when you populate that, it's a different countdown. So this one's you know, 53 hours away, whereas this one's happening later today. So when you select the corresponding event, so you'll say, see this one's called today's test. When you go into the output settings, you'll see it loads up all of the events that have been pre-populated. You select today's test, you click OK, and then you're good to go. So that's how you can go ahead and stream either live or stream live to a predetermined event. There you go. Have fun with Wirecast Play.